That's nasty. And yes, we do have our work cut out for us on this Buick Verano. Customer actually wants a quick basic interior as well as a polish package on the exterior. But first we need to tackle a lot of this road film, tar, bug splatter. It's almost stained the paint. It's given it kind of a dull appearance. Our tires and wheels need a really good deep cleaning. Some of this dirt is pretty extreme and this is kind of pushing the product that we're going to be testing out to the limits. But this is fresh from Overt Car Care. This is their all-purpose soap. This is a plant-based, versatile soap that's going to be safe for coated vehicles as well as uncoated vehicles, but we're really going to be pushing it to the limits today. First up, we're going to just do a very quick basic interior. I'm just going to show you some highlights of what that process looks like for me. But before we get into everything, let's go ahead and get our interior and door jams taken care of, and then we can focus on the exterior. Vacuuming is all done. We have our wheel bucket set up and ready to go. We've got my easy detail brushes. I need to put that back in its holder so it doesn't wander off. We've got my detail factory tire brush, my work stuff wheel mitt. We've got some spare brushes on the side, microfiber wash mitt, clay mitt towel from the rag company with our grit guard on the bottom. We are ready to go ahead and wash this beauty down. We are taking a quick close look at the new all-purpose soap from Oberk. This is now available over at Car Supplies Warehouse. It's $9.99 a bottle, 16 fluid ounces. It does come also in a liter, but we've got a nasty Buick that we need to do a good deep cleaning on, a good foaming pre-soak. We've got a lot of bugs. We've got a lot of road film. We've got a lot of tar all over the lower panels of this vehicle. Let's go ahead, put this stuff to the test and see what she can do. First up though, let's go ahead and give her a good rinse. We're using our canopy for shade. Those are important things to know. You don't want to put this on a hot panel and you don't want to put it on a dry panel. So shade, pre-rinse, good to go. So even though we did a pre-rinse, it didn't blast off any of the bugs or the tar. It was like glued to this paint. If you have a vehicle that has protection on it, a pre-rinse should do a great job of removing a lot of that. Because we've got heavy soiling, we're going to start off with three ounces, which is what they recommend for heavier soiling. But because of the amount of staining on this vehicle, as well as the bugs, we're actually going to just kind of test out a small spot. I want to film on the three ounces of soap. Let that sit for about a minute or two, and then we're going to come in again with our high pressure. I just want to kind of test 
detergent alone without any sort of contact, what kind of cleaning capabilities does it have? On this spot, it didn't do a whole lot to remove that staining. And honestly, not much did other than contact. And we actually had to polish the vehicle in some spots to remove some of the staining because it was that bad. There was actually, I could tell that the customer was leaking oil because back where his exhaust was, um, it was just black and nothing that I did would remove that except for a polish step, which is what we did at the very end of this video. But we foamed on. I actually ended up using about six ounces of soap in the foam cannon. We added probably another two or three to our wash bucket. Had really nice quick foam once I hit it with my pressure washer. And because of how bad the bugs were on here, I did use my Jersey Bug Scrubber from the Rag Company. This thing is dynamite. If you've got nasty bugs, to very quickly but gently scrub off the bug residue that is on the front of your vehicle. If you drive in an area that has heavy bugs, I highly recommend you pick up one of these. I'm going to put the link for it down below that you guys can pick one up for yourself. They're super cheap, but they're going to make that nasty task a whole lot easier. But let me show you something. Watch how easy it blasts all this tar off. I couldn't get it with water alone. Hopefully you guys can see this art. Right. You can actually see where the soap kind of ran down and it's clean where it has kind of made contact with the road film. But what I'm liking so far is that a lot of this tar that with high pressure water alone, it wouldn't budge when we come in with our high pressure. So I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Is it the most powerful detergent out there? No, but at the same time, the fact that this can be used on a ceramic coated vehicle, obviously it's not going to be the most powerful. We'll test it out in the future on my vehicle. It's graphene coated as a touchless wash, but when it comes to kind of really attacking heavy road film, dirt and tar, it's for sure loosening it, making it a lot easier for me to come in and do the wash step. But I like the fact that it's plant-based, so that means it's not going to be, uh, you know, toxic to the environment. And the fact that it's friendly enough to use on a protected vehicle. So on an unprotected vehicle, don't expect it to have kind of the same fighting power as some of these really high alkaline soaps like Dark Fury or the Wash Chem Pro 100, which they're closer to 12, 13, even 14 on the pH scale. So I'm going to look up the SDS sheet or contact David and see if I can get the pH level of this because I'm kind of curious knowing that it can kind of go after ceramic coated vehicles as far as a touchless wash what kind of pH value is it for a non-coated vehicle just to give you guys an update I did contact David Patterson from Oberk and he said that the concentrate is a pH of 9.5 which makes it safe for everything once it's diluted in an action it becomes pretty much pH neutral so that is nice and that's going to be really suitable for ceramic coated vehicles because it is a slight alkaline. It isn't a heavy foaming soap. Its design is to lift dirt, pull and drag it down the side of the vehicle. It isn't lubricated the same as a pH neutral soap, but it does have some lubricant within it. It's a product that they call Stay Wet and it makes the formula feel slippery and it's made to help out for mobile detailers or those who wash outside. The ideal process with this product is to foam it on, let it dwell, use high pressure water and rinse that off, and then come in and do a bucket wash with the all-purpose soap. For coated cars, it actually will clean very well 
even if you use it as a contactless product, and it can actually help bring back some of the hydrophobics. We're going to test that out in a future video because I want to kind of compare it to maybe more of a Car Pro Reset, which that feels like it would be very similar to that product. But the price point is exactly where I like to be for a product like this. It did a really nice job of cleaning this vehicle, lifting a lot of that heavy dirt off. We did come in behind after doing a contact wash with our Rapid Decon from Turtle Wax and did a clay towel treatment. You can see here we had a lot of rail dust and ferrous metal on this vehicle. It definitely needed a good deep scrub cleaning and clay towel treatment. Some of the staining we needed to actually polish off, but all in all, the all-purpose soap did a really nice job of deep cleaning this vehicle without being super aggressive uh, as far as using high pHs that could potentially stain it. I had no staining issues with this soap, which was really pleasant um, because I didn't want to have to create more work for myself. After washing, you could see it tackled all of the nasty bugs, the road film, the tar, everything came up nice and clean. It actually almost changed colors once we were done. I didn't realize that it was such a brighter pearl. It almost looked yellow when I first started working on this vehicle, but we've been able to remove all of the heavy dirt and staining off of the vehicle. It did have nice lubricity with the clay towel process. I didn't feel like I was being super aggressive or would have extreme clay towel marring. So final thoughts on our Oberk all-purpose soap. Um, little observation, but I noticed that when I was done using it, my hands weren't sticky like they normally are with some of the higher uh, cleaning capability soaps that I use. Uh, just an observation. Uh, that could be because it is, again, plant-based. It's going to be friendlier for your skin as well as for the environment. So that is a definite perk. As far as cleaning capabilities on this vehicle, you could see that it did have a lot of of nasty stuck on debris and dirt, road film, tar, bug guts, and it did a really nice job of fighting through all of that. Was it the most powerful detergent that I've ever used? No, but I like the fact that this gives you the option to use for ceramic coated vehicles. So in that moment and in this moment, I wasn't looking for a super high pH or strong detergent that's going to essentially be touchless. On a vehicle like this, I wouldn't expect it to be touchless. Um, that's where we used our bug scrubber, we used our wash mitt, we used the clay towel with a chemical decon. Now, you did notice that I did a chemical decon and a clay towel treatment. That was the package that the customers requested. In fact, after this, we're going to do a paint enhancement. So in this moment, what I needed it to do was to clean, remove as much of the dirt as possible, so that way when I did my clay towel treatment, there wasn't as much risk of marring, and it did exactly what I needed it to do. So very impressed with what I'm seeing so far with the Oberk all-purpose soap. I am going to put the link for it down below for those of you that want to test it out for yourself. And if you have used it, let me know some feedback, what has been your experience. But we're going to continue to test this on coated vehicles next. But for a super grimy vehicle, did exactly what I needed it to do. We'll put the link for it at Car Supplies Warehouse, available now. Use coupon code CHELSEA10. You can get 10% off to test it out for yourself. All right, guys, we're going to keep moving on this vehicle. But we'll Here's the finished look of our Buick after we did our wash, our chemical decon, our clay towel treatment, and we actually did a paint enhancement with McKees 37, their new 3-in-1 graphene polish. It turned out extremely well, and when the customer came to pick up his vehicle, after we had collected payment, he was just like, is it okay if I just kind of stay here and look at the vehicle? He was so happy with how it turned out. And I was really happy with how the products all performed to very quickly and easily give us these kinds of results. So make sure you guys check the video description box down below for links to all the products that I use. But we'll see you in the next detail. Have a fantastic day.